Hi everybody, this is Janice and I'm a consultant with Close to My Heart and I'm wanting to show you this layout that I'm about to do with our club. I have a monthly club, I actually have two monthly clubs that meet once a month and we make a layout, a card, and then sometimes um, what I'm thinking is we'll do either a tag or an embellishment or learn a technique or something like that. So I wanted to share some things with you how this came together. Um, this part here is a piece of paper that comes from the Enchantment Fundamentals packet. It's actually a striped piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper. And all I did was cut a piece that was about that big, but I cut it so that this piece here is shorter and this one was taller and so then that way I had like a border piece and a border piece from the top and a border piece for the bottom. And then um, what I did for the mat since I don't have peacock paper, I have the peacock ink here, I cut a piece of cardstock that is a quarter inch bigger than four by six so four and a quarter by six and a quarter and I actually inked all of the edges with just a just you could do it with a makeup sponge let's see I'm gonna reach over here you could um, just use one of these Tim Holtz applicators just you know anything you have sponge dauber whatever finger finger dauber all of those would work and then I cut a three inch circle out of with my Cricut and then this image this image and this sentiment gratitude turns what we have into enough is from this month's stamp of the month which is exclusive to this month you can purchase it for $17.95 it is a d size stamp set but it also coordinates with art booking so i cut out the pumpkin these leaves okay and then i cut out a rectangle that this sentiment would fit on and I stamped it, but then I used all of the little pieces to create a background. And I did the same with the little banner that I also cut from the cartridge. And I can show you simply how, I mean, how easily with a white piece of paper you can make a little embellishment. So here's the little flag. It's about an inch tall. And the reason why it looks like it's long is because I cut it and just I like to do stuff like that. This also is a very, is a short piece of paper, but I just cut it and then I put it on either side to make it give the illusion that there's a big piece of paper running behind it. And that's a good way to save paper. So um, we're gonna stamp. Looking for a smaller block. And away okay let's use this one the only thing I don't like about using a smaller block is the fact that it's really easy to mess up <laughs> um, let's not use that see all that ink that gets all on it that's not good so we're gonna use a smaller 2x2 two two block and we're gonna get some colors here we've got our um, pomegranate our peacock, our saffron, and here's our fern. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I did was, and you know, you can do the this stamping in really any order that you would like. It doesn't have to be in any particular order, it doesn't matter. But you should use your foam piece because it gives you a much better impression. So all we're going to do is pick up our little stamp and just randomly stamp. Just make sure, you know, you're turning it so it gives it that random look.
to do some off the edges too. Okay. Okay. So we've got that part. Then put it back there because I lost one today and I was freaking out because I couldn't find it. <laughs> so I don't do what I do. Okay. And then we'll take this leaf here and take the saffron color. So pretty. And we will stamp that in a random fashion. Turn it, turn it, turn it. And just keep going till, till you like it. And we'll take that one off and get our little, um, it's like a little branch or like a little cluster that berries are growing on. A little berry cluster. And I used the fern for that one. And I just tried to put it in places where there's a lot of white. And I want to have uneven numbers. Let's turn it this way and go there. Maybe here. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of want one here too. Maybe I'll go off right here. Yeah, just do it till you like it. Okay, and I like it now. All right, then, I love this part. This is pomegranate. There's these little berries. What is it? There it is. There's these little berries here, and there's uh, these little berries. So this little berry cluster goes with this one. Is that what I did? Oh, I did the three. Okay, I did the threesome. So we're going to get the three berries, and we'll stamp them with the pomegranate color. And then you, you line it up. And it really helps if you could put your head right up there which I can't because I'm standing up. <laughs> so I'll do the best I can, but again, it doesn't really have to be perfect. Not really. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So I like that. Um, I missed one right here. And there, so now we have a piece of very fallish looking paper. I love it. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you get the um, the foam applicator. Makeup sponge works well too. I'm gonna get the one that I used for the fern, and then I'm just gonna ink the edges. And you can ink it as much or as little as you like. And so there you go. Right? And then what I did for the pumpkin was really easy. You take the pumpkin, goes this way. Oops, that's the wrong color. And you ink the top this and if it goes a little bit into the pumpkin area that's okay because if you've ever seen a real pumpkin sometimes they have green on them so it's okay and then we'll get this stamp this block and we'll get a pumpkin but if it's brand new you can um, pat this on your skin and it kind of primes the stamp so that you get a very good impression. Then you line it up over your, and it helps sometimes to stand up while you're doing this. Okay, and I got 
a little spot there in the middle. So I'm just simply going to line it up again. This might be tricky because I'm not sitting right over it. But see that? And that kind of looks like a little light spot. So I mean, that really doesn't bother me. But if I was sitting up closer <laughs> to it, I, I know I would have done a much better job stamping that. And then I'm going to use the fern again to get a nice little stem. I like to do it a couple times. And look at that cute little pumpkin. Okay. And so that's how I did my pumpkin. And you can see it lightened up a little bit because the ink is still wet. And you do the leaves the same way. You cut your leaves from your cartridge and you stamp them and you ink them and then you get this. This is the peacock color and that's the fern color. And I really, really love how that turned out. So next I'm going to show you, next video I'll show you how I made this little feather. Oh, the little, <laughs> it fell off. Okay, so we'll fix that. I'm going to show you how I did that. Really easy with some clearance washi tape. Stay tuned. Bye.